Because we have a postal service. Even that's getting old. We now can use email or even text. But today, I want you to think of yourself maybe as a pigeon. I prefer an envelope because pigeons are kind of dirty. God took his message of love and he put it in you. He, it is wrapped in this wonderfully cute, adorable, polite little person. And you get to take this message of God's love to someone and share it with them. And just like a letter can be read over and over again, how many times in your life can you tell people that Jesus loves them? Yes. All the time. Excellent answer. Yes, please. Not, not enough. Yeah. The cup is yeah half full or half empty, I suppose. You can do it as many times as you can. That's awesome. And it doesn't have to be a detailed, long gospel presentation with points of doctrine. All you have to say is that when I'm sad, I know that Jesus is caring for me, and I can pray to him. And you can tell people they can do the same. How about if you fold your hands, and we'll ask Jesus to give us an opportunity to do that. Dear Jesus, we know that you love us because you died on the cross to take away our sins. Open our eyes to the opportunities this week that you're going to give us so that we can share your love with someone around us. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class walking slowly. <laughs> 